good question that was sent to us over the email was, hey, we want to change our wallpaper in our CRVs, the Accords, the Pilot, the Odyssey, all of them have, have where you can put a different wallpaper. So here's what I was going to do is going to show you how to do that. Here's what done is went out and got us a new sand disk. And we got the new ones because it has security on there. What we found out is the older ones doesn't have the security and they have a problem with uploading images or your music. So we got us a new one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it into my flash drive into the computer. Okay, so I pulled up the picture and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the right click. I'm going to go over here and save picture as. And I'm going to go into my computer to my scan disk and I'm going to name the photo. So we're going to name this one Ted. And then I just save it. Next, all we've got to do is remove the sand disk from the computer and we go to the CRV and install it into the USB port. Come on with me and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, we're in a 2014 CRV EXL with a Navi, but this can be done in any of the CRVs. Here's what we're going to do we're going to take our sand disk and we're going to stick it into our USB port. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the vehicle on. Over on my steering wheel, I'm going to hit the menu button, and I'm going to scroll down to it says custom settings. Now I'm going to hit my source button, and I'm going to go up to where it says display settings. I'm going to import a wallpaper. If you notice, I've got several pictures. This one's the Ted picture we just took, and I'm going to hit enter. It usually takes about 30 seconds for it to upload, anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. It's going to depend on the size of the picture. There's the picture that we just saved. So now I'm going to hit my source to save it. I'm going to hit OK, and then it's going to ask me what image I want to, what image. I'm going to save it right there to number one. Okay, the image has been saved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my backup. I'm going to go up to select my wallpaper. I'm going to hit my source button again. I'm going to go down here to image one. I'm going to hit my source button again, and that saved it as my wallpaper. To back up, I just hit my menu, and there you go. Pretty simple. The biggest thing you got to watch out for is the size of the picture. Just make sure that you get the right picture. Anything smaller, we'll put it in the center of the screen. If you got any more questions, hey, go on Patty Peck's website and ask Ted.